Well, welcome back YouTube. Uh, needless to say at this point I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> Eventually I will be. We peeled all the initial wood off of this side which we kind of discussed and I think I started on the last video. Uh, the other side we sanded down most of the wood, gotten it off of there. Uh, we peeled every bit of the roof Luan off. I thought this side was going to be the good side and the other corner back there was going to be the rotten side. Uh, turned out to be the opposite. Everything on this entire side was just wet, damp, rotted, nasty, crappy, looking like this. So we peeled it down right now. Basically we have the ectoskeleton. Uh, we've got our tin, <laughs> we've got our frame, and we've got basically nothing else. The rotted piece in the middle, I cut a new piece, put it in, uh, glued it to the top. I'm going to screw it in from the side here. That corner is a little weak. I'm tired of ripping this thing apart, so we're just going to make an aluminum. We're going to make a tin box, and we're just going to box that whole square in so that it ties into the two sides and ties into the two legs. We could also uh, staple our Luan top around that hole, so it'll be five times as structurally firm as it ever was when they started. Uh, we peeled our two sides off, which basically, where is it? There it is. It was just nailed on at the very top edge. So there were staples going through there that held it on. As Since we're this far along and since the corners are rotted, we're just going to cut two new pieces for the side, two new pieces for the end, and pretty much have a brand new cap. Here's our plywood. Of course, we went to Home Depot and dug through 15 sheets and couldn't find one that was straight. So we pre-cut the width of the pieces that we need. Uh, right now, they're clamped and reverse bending so that I can get four straight pieces out of it. When we put this back together, we are going to use this wonderful invention called glue. And we're going to put wood glue on here and nail our sides back on. We're going to glue and clamp both our end pieces, roll those up, and nail them in place. I did find a company that can get me the little trim that goes in here that seals to the top of the, the camper shell. So, and I was looking for covering. Once I put the Luan on, we need something for a roof. It had like a textured vinyl. I don't think anybody would ever notice that it was textured. I was just going to paint it white. I'm still up in the air on that. I'm either just going to put the Luan on, paint the entire thing white, or just go to Walmart or something and buy wallpaper, because all wallpaper now is vinyl, and just wallpaper across the top of it, and something close to white or off-white or something that would look good for a ceiling. Okay, so here's where we're at. Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, we did a lot without videos in between, which I apologize for, but uh, once we got going, it was just get it done, get it done, get it done. So, <clears throat> here's a good. That's the Luan top. So, what peeled off, what peeled off, what didn't peel off, I let go because I really didn't. I tried my best not to rip the top to pieces. Because at this point, if I messed up all the uh, foam insulation, I'd have nothing left but the outer skin. So, and at this point. If I knew somebody that could make the outer skin, it'd be easier just, or we could just make a new frame, take it to them, and have them put a skin on it. But we're this deep, so we'll keep on going. It's all fun. Makes me, makes me, brings back the days of my boat. Okay. <laughs>